emailed him right away. Yes, that is it, guys. Hi everyone, welcome back to Data Girl channel. It has been a while since my last video. I do apologize for that, but I hope you are all doing well around the world and stay healthy. Now let's dive into our main topic today. So the story is my master degree was a hybrid one. We only needed to meet up with our professor once a week, but because of COVID, we could only hold it once a month. And uh, during one of the meetings, I heard that my professor wanted to start some projects. And when I got home, I emailed him right away. And I asked him if I could join any of his projects. And then the answer is yes. That is it, guys. That's it. Nice. Did you think I got lucky? Yes, I think so too. However, there's something that I've learned from my own story. First, join as many meetings or conferences as much as I can. Because the more I join, the more I learn. The more I enter, the more networking I make. They said, if opportunities doesn't knock, build a door. In my case, I would not know about my professor's projects if I didn't attend the meeting, right? Second, don't hesitate to email or ask for projects from your professors. Tell them that you are looking for projects to involve in and get your hand dirty. I am so glad that I decided to send my professor email at that time. If you are doubting yourself right now, you think you may be not good enough, you are afraid, and you have no experience, don't think that. You have nothing to lose. That was what I motivated myself when I decided to send my professor an email. Just do it. Another key that we can take away from my story is that when I sent an email to my professor, he knew who I was. You know, teachers have hundreds of students each year, so make sure your teacher knows who you are. In my case, I didn't skip any periods during his classes. I was not an outstanding student, but I was active during his courses, even though it was Zoom classes. Alright, that is all about how I landed my first part-time job during school. Goodbye, and see you in the next one.